Hey guys, Drudder here, July 8th, 2022. And uh, just before I get started on the title of the video here, I just got a couple of coins. Probably everybody's seen the Canadian Maple 2022. The latest one, it's about the same as the last ones. And uh, I also have a 2022 Koala. So, just what I wanted to talk about was that uh, I've noticed something strange happening, and I don't know, maybe you have too, something similar in your area happening. But uh, what's going on here? Well, I'll, one of the, uh, I can illustrate it with a story of a friend of mine. Uh, well, an ex-friend. <laughs> Why is he an ex-friend? Because at the beginning of COVID, uh, I said that it looked like a pandemic, and he got very, very triggered and offended by that, and said that's a dangerous disinformation. And uh, that was the end of our friendship. But um, what's going on with him now? Well, I've heard from another friend, mutual friend, that uh, he is still going to work, but he's going to work in an empty shop. There's nothing in the shop. No, I won't say, you know, what industry he's in, but there's no inventory. There's nothing to sell. And so he goes to work every day. He's apparently paid to go to work and say sorry to all the disappointed customers that come through the door and tell them we might have inventory another time. Please call back next month. <laughs> so that's, um, that's never, I've never had that happen before. I don't, never known anybody who goes to work in an empty shop and just apologizes to customers. That's, that's new to me. So something's a little bit weird about that to me. And uh, the <laughs> local grocery shops are empty here. There's almost no food to buy. You have to go and just basically uh, take what you can get. So I'm actually sitting out here in my garden and uh, I'm growing beans and in the background there's garlic. So I live in a <laughs> busy area of town, but um, so yeah, there's nothing in the shops. You have to go and just take what you can get. If you've ever been to Winners or one of those kind of stores, it's like that, but now with grocery shops. So you go in and you just basically, what they have in store is what you, you know, consider buying. You either buy it or you don't. And then if you don't want that, you go home empty handed. It's no longer a case of bringing your list to the shop and getting what you need. So that's never happened before in Canada. We've never, and it's just been getting worse over the past two years. It was a major shock right at the beginning of COVID and then it's just slowly recovered a little bit. And then from then on, it's just slowly gotten worse and worse and products have disappeared. Entire companies have disappeared. Um, there's no formula, baby formula, of course. Um, I currently have a newborn, so that's a bit of an issue for me. And yes, I know breast milk is better, but my wife had cancer as a child and cannot make <laughs> enough breast milk for the baby so we would be baby would be already in major 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 troubles without formula so I know it's not the best for babies but it sometimes keeps babies alive so it's kind of scary to have no formula in stores I have a little bit down in my my storage uh, because you know I take that kind of thing seriously and I try to be prepared but um, you know it's not gonna last forever either so um, and there's no gas at the gas stations. Everything's just grinding to a halt. I've never seen that. The airports are in, in st and standstill chaos. The internet went down in Canada all day today. Like half the internet, basically. Half our internet provider um, is gone. Um, it's still down right now. I'm, I'm recording this on an offline camera and so on. But, uh, you know, everything. Everything is just messed up. It is massive inflation. Uh, unprecedented. Um, don't have to even get into the tyranny going on th from the uh, World Economic Forum and all the other crap that's going on. Cashless economy being brought in. Uh, food is just being dumped and crops being burned and factories are being shut down and stuff and everything is grinding to a halt. So I've never seen that and this is something that I've talked about happening for 15 years on my YouTube channel and it's happening now. So, uh, and I remain almost completely censored, <laughs> especially on YouTube. I just got another notification, another video was taken down. 
completely factual video taken down because I don't like the opinions. And uh, so it's, uh, like I said a little while uh, ago, <laughs> red alert. Red alert. It, it's, it's time. And uh, so do you still have <laughs> any silver? Anyone out there? Anyone still got your, your stack or part of your stack anyway? might be a good idea to have a few coins, just a few ounces of silver maybe, just in case you need something outside of the system that's not uh, connected to the power grid, might be good. Talk to you guys soon.